everybody, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and feature review of the HK USP45 Compact Tactical. Uh, as you all know, I love HK products in general, um, USPs especially, one of my favorite pistols, if not my favorite pistol in the world. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to be able to get my hands on this gun here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, with this unboxing. Let's take a look and see what came with it. All right, there we go. So let's start off with here. So what we see obviously is the pistol, the USP 45 Compact Tactical, two 10 round magazines, and the magazines have this extended sort of bottom plate here. Obviously you can get more rounds then in the magazine, um, and it provides a little bit more stability for when you're shooting. Uh, the funny thing about that is though, I always wondered why would you include extended mags only with a compact handgun. Uh, <laughs> but that's just me. Either way, like I said, um, I love it and I've got um, you know other magazines and so on that I can use with this that are actually specifically built for um, carrying purposes and so on. So let's go ahead and move forward here. So obviously we see the magazines, we've got those. We see the pistol. I'll go ahead and give you a little closer look at that here in just a moment. And let's open up the rest of the casing though too. So in here, under the foam, we've got a tool, and we've got some O-rings. Now we have an O-ring here that goes around the barrel, just so you can see that there. So that's what those are for. And let's take a look up here too. We've got our USP series operator's manual. Let's see here, instructions for use of HK thread protectors. You've got a fired casing here for the states that require that. And of course we've got a gun lock. All right, so I'm just gonna tuck this stuff right back over here because I don't really need any of it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual pistol. I'm going to go ahead and remove our little chamber flag here. Alright, so that's out of there. So what you'll notice here on the USP is a few of your different controls. So you've got your safety, so safe on, safe off, decocker if you push all the way down. You've got your slide release here. You've got an extended uh, trigger guard. So you can use it with gloves on, which comes in handy when you live in Wisconsin like I do. And then of course you've got a threaded barrel here with the thread protector over the top of it. Now all HKs seem to have this left hand twist. I'm sure I could order a custom barrel um, in a different twist if I wanted to. But it works great with all the different accessories that I have um, in general, so I do like it. Now the trigger on the HK USPs is generally pretty awesome. Um, obviously this one here is going to be uh, coming from a decock position so a little bit more oomph to get it back but if you look here after we actually cock it real light trigger pull and then let's show you the reset too So not a whole lot of travel for that reset. Not going to be as tight as a Glock, for instance, but still will get you where you need to be. So overall, really do like that. Uh, a few other features to take note of here is the compact does have the night sights included. Um, on the other 40, I'm sorry, not the 45, but the 9mm USB that I have, that just included an adjustable rear sight and black blade front sight. So I was happy to see the night sights on here. I thought that was a nice feature. And let's take a look. How about, let's just give you a quick breakdown on it too. Um, these guns are really easy to break down overall. Just remove your slide release there. Push your slide forward, you got your frame. And then obviously we have 
our guide rod and spring. And then when taking apart a USP that has a threaded barrel, you're always going to have to remove that thread guard. There we go. So as you can see, it comes apart very easily and comes together just as easily. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get that done for you quick. All right. There we go. So everything's put back together there. And uh, in general, um, one of the only other things that to, you really might want to know about USPs is the fact that you won't be able to actually put any sort of standard um, rail accessory on here. You're always going to need a little adapter of some sort to go over this HK molding for the frame, um, or you'll have to buy HK accessories exclusively. So just another thing to keep in mind about the gun. A um, few other things, some nice stippling on the grip. You know, in general, it's nice, it's rough, you can get a good grip on it overall. Almost forgot to mention one of the uh, things that actually sets these apart quite a bit from other pistols that you've probably seen or worked with in the past is the fact that the, um, the mag release is a little bit different in design. Let's see if I can get this to actually focus, there we go. So this is an ambidextrous mag release, and you can see I'm pushing down on it with my right index finger. You can push down on either side. But this is a, a cool sort of design overall that I really like when it comes to the USP. Um, you know, for me, sometimes if you look at where I hold the gun, I can't reach that side release with my thumb the way, you know, the way it is. I have to actually manipulate the gun to turn it and then release it. So what I really like about the USPs in general, and I'm going to change sides here for you quick, is when I empty a mag and I'm done shooting, I can literally take my finger off the trigger, slide it over, and then drop the mag. So again, just so you can see what I'm talking about here, magazine's empty, slide the finger, drop the mag. So. Just a nice, uh, easy way to actually operate some of the different controls on this pistol itself and uh, something that I've learned after using them for a while. So overall, just a great pistol and uh, let's go ahead and I'll talk a little bit about some of the other things I like to use with my USP. Alright everybody, so if the uh, USP 45 Compact Tactical and the magazines and gear and everything that came with it itself wasn't enough for you. Um, there's a few other things accessory wise I want to talk with you about quick um, that I love to have with my USP. Um, the first off, which is the 8 round USP magazine. This is a genuine HK product. Um, this holds 8 rounds of 45 ACP and this makes it really nice and easy to carry. Uh, a little bit more flush with this smaller plate as compared to the larger plate that you see with the included magazines. So really like having this um, when it's actually on my person. Uh, another thing that I like to have is my YHM M2 Cobra suppressor. Now the M2 Cobra I believe is not in production anymore. It's been replaced by what's called the Sidewinder. Uh, but uh, I've had nothing but good luck with YHM suppressors. Uh, great products in general too. I've used their rails. Uh, I've used their adapter devices, I've used their muzzle devices. Um, so overall, just great products from YHM. Um, so the M2 Cobra suppressor is what I use um, for fun and seeing as I have the threaded barrel, it's one of those things where if you if you have the ability to shoot suppressed, why not? Um, I just like shooting suppressed in general, it's a lot of fun. And so, in order to shoot suppressed, <clears throat> one of the things that you need to do when you have a YHM uh, interchangeable suppressor here like I do with in the M2 Cobra is have your uh, your thread adapters so this is a thread adapter here that will go ahead and fit onto my 
uh, USP45 Compact Tactical. I've also run the suppressor on my uh, USP Full Size Tactical 9mm. So, again, just YHM products in general. Love them, love the suppressor, and love the fact that I can interchange that suppressor through my different calibers on my different guns. Uh, just makes everything a lot, you know, a lot more fun, a lot more useful. You know, you pay for one tax stamp and one can and can use it on multiple guns as opposed to having a separate can for each gun. You can only shoot one gun at a time, kind of. <laughs> and then one of the last things I wanted to talk about is obviously for a carry piece you want to have a great holster. And that's what I have here in my Peacekeeper holster. Now this Kydex holster is made by a buddy of mine, Brian, um, over in Menominee Falls, who's the owner of Peacekeeper holsters, and I'll give you a close up here of this card in just a few moments. Um, but overall, I just love the fit and finish of the holsters here. Um, he custom molds them to each and every gun. And if you take a look here, you can see you got really, really good retention. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. And, you know, overall, belt clip's nice and thick, works well. Um, I usually carry this in an appendix position or around, you know, a 3-4 o'clock position. And I've never had any complaints for it. So, you know, if you, if you have the ability to, um, or if you're, well... You know, if you're local here in Wisconsin, you know, in the Milwaukee area in general or close by, come into the Menominee Falls shop and stop by. It's in the same place as MGS Firearms, and you can talk with Brian directly about exactly what you need. Um, but I'll be doing a, a specific video on, on Brian and his holsters here. Um, but just wanted to mention that's the holster that I use for carrying my USP uh, Tactical 45 Compact here. So just wanted to go ahead and make note of that, but again, Great holster, love it. I'll give you more details on that later on in the future here. All right, everybody. So if uh, if you have any questions about the gun or anything like that, like usual, just put it in the comments section. I'll be glad to talk with you about anything you want to talk about. So we've grown quite a bit here in the last few months, but we still got a lot of growing to do. Um, so like I said, you know, please support us by you know liking, subscribing, sharing, and following on the different social media platforms. And that way we'll ensure to be able to keep bringing you good videos, good information, and uh, of course, the giveaways. So <laughs> please uh, go ahead and uh, get on social media, give us a share, and thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. Have a great day.